Hello, my name is Nephi Wolf, and I'm with NCSI, and this is the 11th video in our extraction series. In this video, we're going to be over, we're going to go over the data stores or the, the data connections. Um, here in the data model editor, you'll notice that uh, we have the data sources here, and, and in mine, I have all of them imported, so I have a whole bunch of different data sources. So for example, service manager, where we can do tickets and incidents and things. Um, if we expand this data source here, then we have several different views. And the views let us get a look at um, the, different, the different types of data that are in there. So as we expand this, we have incidents, we have service requests, problems, and, and all these different ones. And then there's some test ones that I've done on the bottom. So we have these, these views that are underneath the source and so then we have several different sources like uh, we have endpoint manager here uh, the computers and things like that so as you go into the website um, as you want to report on these things you'll see here that you have a data source and then it also has the view selected so if you want to change that and here's that same data source the Avanti service manager and the incidents view and we can see all those different things in there and then there's those those test items there so we can we can go in and we can report on different items there and so for example this incident view if we go in and look at this and so if we just drag over like a list component and then we'll come over here and we'll look at the columns so as we look at all of these different columns all these different fields are in the incident view. But not all of them are necessarily in the incident table, like in the same SQL table in the back end. Um, we have like related problems, um, related changes, we have tasks and things like that. So um, responses, that's an SLA table. So as we come in and we look at this, as we look at the service manager view and the incidents, we could see that this view has a whole bunch of tables uh, there's the incident table, but then there's also like journal, which is notes and things, uh, SLA, uh, response targets, uh, tasks if you have any, or linked problems. So this, this incident table is a starting point, and then it joins. These are all the different joins or connections to all of these other tables. So if we were to look at the, the task table, we can see that you have a task owner login ID. And then if we come over here, under the incident view, Go down there. one more. There we go. So that task owner login ID. So it's it's in the view for incidents, but it's actually not in the incident table. It's in the task table. So there's there's a relationship. There's a join that joins that task table to the incident table, and because it's joined, then you can see all of these task fields in this view. So all of these tables here are connected together under the incident table. And so they're all connected into this incident view here. And so then when you come here in the UI, then you can, you can see all those different fields that, are, that have been added there. Um, so uh, within the data model editor, uh, you can always, so again, we're looking at the service manager here. You can always create a new view. So maybe there's a new module that you've created, a new, um, employee time off scheduler uh, object that you've created and you want to report on that so you can always come in here to the views and you can right click and you can add a view um, but one thing to keep in mind as you do that um, once the views have been saved so once you've added the view and you've saved it uh, they can't be deleted anymore so as you go in and add these views um, you, you can't they'll always be underneath the service manager like the, the incident view but what you can do I just want to show you this so if you go into the view that you've created you can uncheck the active checkbox we'll do that for these last two let's see so this one and then the test joins so you can uncheck that active checkbox and then we'll save the data model and then we'll come over here and we'll just reload the data model. And with that reloaded, 
as we come in here down at the bottom, we don't see that test joins, that Z incident. So that, that hides them from your users, so they'll no longer see them in there. Um, but you can't actually remove them from the data model once they've been added. Um, but as long as you can hide them, you know, that should be good enough. And with the views, you can always come in and then you just add a new table and, and join the tables together. And, and you can use these other ones as, as references. You can see how they've done that with, with all of these here. So um, hopefully, you know, as you look at this, you'll see the Vonti service manager and then the incident view. And as you come back over here, you can see the Vonti service manager and the incident view. Hopefully that'll make more sense, what you're looking at in the back end. And uh, depending on your license, I, I did forget to mention that, depending on your license, you'll be able to create new views um, for new objects underneath your, your data source. So um, not everybody can do that, but if you have purchased a, a full license for uh, extraction, then you, you will be able to create new views there. Uh, so hopefully you find this information useful. And if you have any questions, uh, just reach out and we'd be glad to help you out. And again, this is Nephi Wolf with NCSI, and I'll be back soon with the final video in the series. Until then.